In this video, I'm gonna show you how to drive laser targeted traffic to your ClickBank products to generate $200 to $300 per day as soon as you finish watching this video. All right guys, so in this video, what we're gonna do is simply show you guys how to um, generate a boatload of cash with driving highly targeted traffic with Facebook ads for your ClickBank offers, right? So in this um, example, um, I usually don't do travel, but I just wanted to do it for this example just to show you guys that you guys can do it with anything, right? So the first thing is you want to go to the marketplace. You want to pick a category, and then once you pick a category, you want to go ahead and find an offer. Once you find an offer, you're simply going to go ahead and press promote, right? So just to show you what the sales page looks like, this is what the sales page looks like. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and press promotes, right? Now 75% um, commissions, and we're going to go ahead and create our ClickBank link. And then we're going to copy this and then we're going to go ahead and actually add this to a bit.ly link. Now I did this ahead of time for time's sake, right? So here's my actual link that I'm going to be doing for this actual offer right here. The hidden airline loopholes that lets you book a thousand dollar flights for $20 or less. Now, guys, just a forewarning. If you guys run uh, Facebook ads and they approve your ad with a direct link, meaning if I was to go ahead and actually use this direct link, on my Facebook ad, there's a high possibility that you will get your ad account shut down. So what I would highly recommend is using something like ClickFunnels. Once you use something like ClickFunnels, you can actually put a capture page, ca capturing emails in front of this page, right? Which is not only going to allow you to um, do email marketing, but number two, it's going to go ahead and lessen your chances of actually getting your advertisement account shut down. Now. Do your own research, do your own due diligence, make sure you actually look into um, the Facebook rules, regulations, and guidelines, right? That's not my job to do that for you. You're, you're where everybody's big boys and big girls here, right? Now, once we have our link and we have our offer, next is the actual advert, right? So there's three things that we're gonna do. We're gonna create a campaign, then we're gonna go ahead and create an ad set, and then we're gonna go ahead and create the actual ad, right? So the campaign name is gonna be, I'm just gonna say traffic ad, and then we're gonna put free, flights right and the next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, do a campaign objective is going to be traffic right we're gonna do auction and then we're gonna go ahead and save to draft right so now we have a campaign that is ready to get started and now that we have the campaign the next step is the ad set right so that's the easiest part now we want to go to the ad sets, right? Now it's time to actually create an ad set. Now, people who are interested in cheap flights, what might they be interested in, right? The people who would be interested in this would be people who are interested in flying a lot, right? Now me personally, I'm a digital nomad, right? So I take a lot of flights. So what I'm going to do, we're not going to give the ad set a name yet. We're going to go ahead and actually edit the ad set, right? Daily budget, you always want to start at five, right? Five dollars per day. And the objective, guys, is to get this in front of a targeted audience, right? So the ad set name, we'll name that after. But custom audience, right? We're not going to do custom audience. By the way, custom audiences and lookalike audiences are the best type of audiences, right? But for this example... Right, what are the type of people who actually have money and who actually start traveling? People start to travel once they're around, I'm gonna even say 30 to 65 plus, right? Now I'm not gonna pick men or women because I don't have enough data yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna target people in the US. I'm gonna target people in um, the top countries, right? So Australia, Australia, New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealand, then I'm gonna target people in uh, United Kingdom. So these are people who speak English and they have um, buying power, right? Meaning they speak English and they are the richest countries. So they're more li more likely to actually buy what I'm selling. Next is detail targeting, right? So the detail targeting, I might say digital nomads. I'm a digital nomad. I've taken over 40 flights this this um this year, right? So people who are interested in digital nomad, four point um, seven people and then what I might do is narrow down the audience with something like um, travel frequent travelers 
So frequent travelers, right? And then narrow down even further, anything with flights. Flight, no, um, travelers. We're looking for people who like to travel. Frequent international travelers. Um, travel commute, air travel. Okay, we need to find one more thing. Um, frequent travel, frequent travelers. What are the type of people? Digital nomad. Frequent travelers. Um, I'm just gonna find something in travel. I'm just gonna keep on looking down. Travel photography, time travel, travel consultant, uh, travel channel. We're just gonna see if this works. Frequent international travelers. So that um, narrows down my audience to 350,000 people. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, now we're gonna name the audience, right? So we're gonna put um travelers from 35 to 60 65 plus and we're going to put men and women right now guys the objective is if your first ad does not work is to target multiple people right so we're not going to save the uh, audience but we are going to go ahead and edit placements and what i want to do is i want to um only do feeds and i don't i'll do instagram but i'm not going to do messenger and i'm not going to do audience networks so um we're not going to get too technical with like uh, mobile devices and everything of that nature um but what we're going to do is we want to get um we want to optimize for link clicks and then the bid strategy uh there is none and uh, when you get charged we want to do cost per click we don't want to get charged for impressions um, and then next is the actual ad so what I'm gonna do is edit and I already have what we're gonna do um, what I would do guys is for the actual um, for the actual fan page, I would create a related fan page, right? But for this example, I'm not going to. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an image ad. And the objective, guys, is, hold on, let me actually upload an image. I recently created one. And if you guys wanna know how to create these images, go to canva.com. I literally just picked, swipe this off of Google. And then I have this red arrow which is basically pointing at this Louis bag, which basically just builds curiosity. People have no idea what the heck it's pointing at, right? But I'll, I'll basically break down the importance of it once I uh, finish actually uh, creating the advert. So next important thing is going to be the actual headline. So we're gonna break this down in a second. So headline and then text. Um, where's the text at and then the description description and then URL is going to be this bitly link now guys as stated before I would highly recommend not direct linking um, I would definitely uh, advise you to if you're going to do this um, if you're gonna do this, I would highly recommend. Hold on. I would highly recommend putting a capture page in front. Now, what I like to do is I like to put emojis. Um, emoji. So this is the ad, guys. Um, I don't know what. Okay. So uh, basically, let's just break it down. Breaking news. So first and foremost, what is the first thing that people are going to go ahead and look at when it comes to your advertisement is your actual image, right? So that's why I have the red arrow. That's automatically going to go ahead and catch people's eye. Um, and then, guys, understand that you're going to be 
you're gonna this is called interruption marketing so you're literally gonna be interrupting people right you're gonna be interrupting people who are looking at cats videos graduation pictures all that extra stuff they're not looking to be sold anything right so you have to figure out a way to actually capture their attention the first thing that people are going to look at before they actually decide to take action on your ad is the image that's why I have an image that looks like a regular image it doesn't look like a stock photo so it looks like it belongs on Facebook and then number two is the actual arrow that's a red is always gonna go ahead and capture people's eye and then it's pointing at nothing right I know that but they don't they're gonna be like what the heck is this right so then the next thing that they're gonna go ahead and look at is the headline right that's the most important thing right here which is this is pissing off commercial airlines right so if you can go ahead and capture them with your actual image number one and then number two capture them with your actual headline right then you're going to go ahead and get them to actually look at your um, your text right so there's there's steps so if I look at the image and this is a bit boring image I'm gonna scroll past right if I look at a, a, an image and then um, the headline doesn't build curiosity or it's a headline that just do doesn't make sense like let's just say buy get get cheap travel get cheap if it says get cheap travel I'm not gonna continue to read I'm just gonna go I'm gonna say okay they're trying to sell me something right but if I see this and then I look at the actual headline I'm gonna bet this is pissing off commercial airlines what's pissing off guys negativity sells unfortunately right so the next step that people are gonna look at is after they see this they're gonna read this part breaking news right controversial controversial that's another kind of negativity curiosity building thing right breaking news controversial loophole allowing middle class to charter thousand a thousand dollar to two thousand dollar flights for as low as twenty dollars right so now they've got my they've captured my attention right then you have a strong call to action so it's very simple it's very it's, it's to trigger people's emotions and to get them to take action now guys believe it or not the objective of the Facebook ad is to get as high as a click-through rate as possible and to get clicks as low as possible to your actual sales process the objective is not to do the selling you can do story ads on Facebook right but we're not doing that in this example right the objective is to simply get drive clicks and targeted traffic as cheap as possible and then to get them in front of your actual offer and then if the offer has a very converting sales process that's going to do all the selling for you right so the objective of the Facebook ad is to pattern uh, disrupt people meaning to, to to capture their attention get them to read our headline then to get them to read our um, our, our our text and then our strong call to action then they're gonna go out and click to learn more right it really doesn't show too much but it, it captured my 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 interest to show somebody in front of a, a private jet then it says this is pissing people off I want to know it's pissing people off and then it says you can like a, a large promise a thousand to two thousand dollar flights for as low as twenty dollars I'm like okay I gotta see this right then they're gonna go ahead and click learn more then they're gonna go ahead and get access to this right which is my affiliate offer now as stated before guys yes it's gonna go ahead and decrease conversions but you want to go ahead and put a capture page in front of this so that way you can go ahead and actually um, uh, like not direct link an affiliate offer to Facebook because Facebook doesn't like that and number two is when you capture these leads you're gonna be able to do email marketing with these leads so it's, it's the one-two punch right but um, that's literally how you create a face a, a, a Facebook ad right you capture their attention with the image and then you go ahead and capture their attention with the um, the headline and then you you drive it home with the actual text and have a strong call to action to get that click and then the next step would simply be publishing, right? And what most people don't tell you is that there's a 95% chance that this ad, if I was to publish this ad, that it would fail, right? People aren't gonna tell you that. The name of the game, guys, is testing. You wanna test five different images, you wanna test five different ad sets, you wanna test um, five, five different headlines, you wanna test five different ad texts, right? It's about testing, and eventually you'll find the winning Facebook ad, and once you find the winning Facebook ad, then you'll get low, high quality traffic to your affiliate offers and you'll make a bunch of money. So if you guys like that video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. Also go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell to join the family. And if you guys wanna know how to get a lot more in depth paid advertisement for ClickBank and affiliate marketing products, the second link in the description will give you access to a free training and also 
uh, if there are still spots left, you guys can actually get access to that course, right? So click the second link in the description, register, get immediate access, and take your business and your life to the next level. And as always, Eric Ellis Jr., checking.